Nick loves when I say something right before I do it. It, it, it drives him nuts. I love doing it. And here we go. <laughs> to SMA Live, and we are starting off with Santa Jamie. Folks, <laughs> if you were watching the Minnesota game last week, our hero, Jamie Cravens, was dressed as uh, what can only be described as Bad Santa, the baddest of Bad Santas. And there he is right there. Welcome to SMA Live. I'm Mallory Woods. This is Jamie Cravens. Jamie, you got to tell me about that picture, man. We got to know Yeah, well, yeah, first of all, I'd be surprised if you're watching it, because at this point, in the game, the Vikings were getting absolutely trounced by the Indianapolis Colts. Real rough game to watch, but, uh, you know, I showed up with my suit on, uh, not expecting to get on TV, but as soon as I walked in, everybody was telling me I was going to be on TV. Next thing I know, some point in the third quarter, my phone blows up with about 10 text messages <laughs> telling me, is this you? I'm like, yeah, I'm there, man. It was a good time, though. And then 10 minutes later, I was on the Jumbotron, so that's pretty exciting. Hey, you know what? You were on the Jumbotron, and you, wasn't get, you were getting escorted off by the police. I look at it as a win. <laughs> yeah, well, they, I don't think they would have scorted anybody out of there because it was a pretty rough game. So <laughs> Man, They might have escorted people back into the stadium. I don't yeah, know yeah, please they, please stay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. looking bad. Well, I mean, hey, my Redskins blew it on Monday night. We absolutely suck on Monday night games. Uh, I think we should not have any more. Uh, I'm looking right now, throwing up a pair, a prayer asking uh, the, the Eagles to beat uh, the Giants, and they're up 14 nothing. so that's great. I'll take it. Well, a division game, you never know, man. Yeah. Well, let's see. We had a lot of action going on this weekend. Of course, over this weekend in the UFC, we had a uh, sport chronic competitor, uh, both Sage Norka and also um, another, I've been told she's been a sports chronic, the karate hottie, Michelle Waterson. She won her fight. Unfortunately, Sage didn't win his. Uh, but one mm -hmm. of the things that he's going to do, which I really agree with, he's going to go back at, down and stay at lightweight. That last fight was at 170. I don't really think <clears> he belongs up in that division. I think... Uh, and again, armchair quarterback, and I'm no expert. I think if he gets back down lightweight, gets some mm -hmm. good ground uh, ground skills going, he's going to make a run in that lightweight division. It's kind of tough to watch. Yeah, it was a tough one. You know, he you could tell he was a little outmanned on the ground. Uh, he was kept trying to get his guy to stand up, and and he just took him back down, and unfortunately got his back at some point, and that was that. But we'll see what happens in the the lighter weight division, man. Yeah, I mean, hey. Sky's the limit for that guy. He's obviously marketable. The UFC loves him. The same thing with Paige Van Zandt. I mean, you know, what can say? These are both two great-looking people. UFC is going to push him. You know, I wish the best of luck for him. But, you know, hey, Michelle Waterson did her thing. You're going to see a lot more, especially in the striking game. She looks like a fighter that, that is out there and that we see at tournaments. And can't wait to see more from her. Well, those are the entertaining fighters to watch. The guys who keep it on their feet and throw those dynamic strikes. You know, to be honest with you, if I see people on the ground for the entire round, I'm, I'm honestly bored and ready to change the channel. Yeah, I mean, I, and, and I, I think I have to agree with you. There are a lot of people that feel are in that mindset and everything. We're going to go ahead and get this show on the road. Uh, our first guest, actually our only guest mm -hmm. for the night, is Justin Nuevo. Uh, if you don't remember, Justin has been around for quite a while. He is a native of mm -hmm. uh, Georgia, and he now resides in California where he's been doing a lot of film work and a lot of uh, stuff out there. Guy's got some of the most dynamic kicks out there. He's a great and outstanding fighter as a junior. Let me get him on the line right now. One second. Live be the magic of Skype. Let me reach on out. One second. One second. Welcome to SMA Live. Justin, how are you doing, buddy? Uh oh, let me, let me, <clears throat> one second, let me get your sound working. One second, buddy. There's all these technical challenges, man, to get, <clears throat> get all this stuff working. And we, it would we are still hiring for a producer, by the way. Oh, so please. We've gotten the whole year. <laughs> Absolutely, please. Let me see here. Let's see if I can get. Mm. We can see you. We just can't hear you. Hold on one second, Jason. Do, 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 do. 
Oh, it's clicking away. All right, let me see if I got you now. Give me a test, Jason. <laughs> I don't think so. Can you make testing one, two, testing, testing. There we go, we got him. Sweet. There we go. Sorry about the bumps in the road there. Everyone, this is Jess Nueva. How's it? Yeah, I like the uh, setup. You got your Christmas tree. What, what's the temperature out in California? Go ahead and make us nerve, jealous. Uh, actually, today it was cold and rainy. Well, cold for Southern California. Cold is like 65. Let's see. Jamie, uh, uh, rainy. What is it in but we need the rain Southern. here in Southern Cali. Well, let's just say when I went to the game this last Sunday, it was 20 below zero. So don't give me the 65 being cold nonsense. Oh, man. It's yeah. just... 65 is cold. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I think I may take 65 any day of the week. Um, Jason, you are you originally actually go ahead and give us a quick background on yourself. I know you're original native from um, from Georgia, but go ahead and tell us who your instructor uh, is and everything. Just a quick background on yourself. Uh, I started martial arts when I was six, so 29 years. I've got a few different instructors. I've Ernest the Cat Miller, who's pretty famous from WCW wrestling, WWF, and of course the the Nazca circuit and I'm a black belt from him. I'm a black belt under Joe Lewis, one of the greatest American martial artists and kickboxers of all time. I have a black belt under John Maynard, who was the only guy to have a black belt under Joe Lewis, Bill Wallace, and Chuck Norris. I also have a black belt in Kempo Karate under Bobby Franklin, and I have a WTF and ITF Taekwondo black belt. Yeah, man, a lot of credentials, definitely some names that we know and familiar with. I actually didn't know that the cat was one of your instructors. I've uh, had a lot of good times. Cat and I had a good conversation one time. We were waiting for a plane in Canada. Uh, absolutely loved him in the WWE. Loved uh, watching him in NASCAR. He is a class act. Uh, you know, definitely a good guy to be learning things from. Yeah, Ernest has been my sensei since I was 10 years old. He's one of my, he's pretty much my father father figure. He's my black dad. <laughs> <laughs> now, Justin, will you, I know you don't want to concentrate on your Hollywood career or, you know, as we would say Hollywood career right now, but can you take me, you moved from Georgia to Hollywood. How long ago was that move for you and how difficult, what type of adjustment was it for you? Um, so this January 25th will make 13 years that I've been I've been out here. I graduated college in December 2004 from UNC Wilmington. I went home to stay with my mom for two weeks in Atlanta and then drove straight out here not knowing anybody. But it, since I was six, all I wanted to do was martial arts and film. It's, I wrote it down at 10 years old. I had all these goals that I said I was going to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Accomplish and achieve, and I've always kept them in my mind. And I, I've been very fortunate that I've achieved everything that I've set out to do. So it wasn't that I just woke up, said I'm gonna go to LA and work in, in film. I've wanted to do it literally my whole life. That's since I was six. I would watch Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris movies, and that's all I wanted to do. Now, as as we have uh, <clears throat> some of your videos that are playing right now for the audience that's watching. Uh, you have some incredible kicks, a lot of dynamic, uh, a lot of tricking routines. Uh, I remember you primarily as a fighter, absolutely just murdering people in the junior division and in the adult division. <laughs> and, and adult division. I was a world, world champion in the adult division for a little bit before retiring. Oh, oh no doubt. Definitely with that. What um, I was going to uh, bring on up and ask... There are a lot of things that you've done as we see clips of these videos. You've showed some workout routines, some target practice, and these things have gone viral. People, like other groups have picked them up, like maybe Inside Martial Arts on Facebook or something, and they, they, they post them on their page, <clears throat> and it gets shared and reshared. What does it feel like to have a video that's been seen by you know, hundreds of thousands of people, and it's just you drilling, working out? Uh, it's pretty cool. Any, anytime, as an artist, one of the biggest reasons I think that people are artists is so that they can share their art. And the more people that their art reaches, the more people I'm able to inspire. And that's what I've wanted to do with my martial arts since I was young. I've always wanted to use entertainment as a platform 
to get everyone involved in the martial arts that I can. All right, we'll toss it on over to Jamie. Jamie, you're yeah. Up. So to, back in the day when you were fine, and Mel, I'm getting a big ego. Okay, I got you. So back in the day when you were a competitor, uh, so who were you, like some of your toughest fighters you had, or what were your favorite tournaments to hit up? <laughs> now I'm probably well, I'm sorry, muted did again. you repeat that? I lost for a second, buddy. He was asking who were some of the your uh, more favorite competitors to compete against or the favorite tournaments that you like to attend when you were actively competing. Uh, well, I fought Mallory once. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I wasn't going to bring it up, but that is true. <laughs> that was at, at Char that was at Charlie's for um in the the Rolex challenge I think I fought Mallory um when I was a junior my toughest competition was this kid on team elite named Peter Alande oh, and I was yeah. he, I was this was when the junior division was 13 to 17 and I think Pete was actually 18 at the one second got a little Skype time so I was 14 and fighting him when he was 17 or 18, but him and I had some really good bouts. This other guy, Thomas Wright, was was one of my competitors, and then there was Jason Facey, who was also really a really good fighter. The, uh, Are you guys there? Yep, I, I got you. Uh, your your video cut up, but I can hear you, no problem. Uh, can you still you still good on audio with us? Yeah, I can hear you guys just fine. Okay, perfect. You know, and and of course, as is tradition, uh, Nick he did mention Thomas Wright and also Peter and Linde, who are both teammates of mine. So, per per our agreement, uh, our buddy Nick, when I mentioned there's a teammate, he has to drink. It, it's I will say, keep an eggnog, <laughs> but I remember some of those battles. You guys, man, in the junior division, you just had all sorts of just absolute killers there waiting to get that to that adult division, and I mean, it's just it's just great to see. Now, one of the things that I, I love and I love seeing, especially some of the videos you have out here, even though you have the dynamic ability to, to trick and everything, I remember you primarily as a fighter and I see a lot of this stuff in your work. I know you don't like to rest on your laurels, but you are one of my favorite shows, Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., doing some stuff on there. You look right at home. Uh, what was the first um, either print or either on uh, film? What was the first job that you got uh, out in Hollywood? What was the first thing you landed? Uh, my very first big job in Hollywood was a modeling print job for Puma Athletic mm -hmm. Company. Uh -huh. um, so, so I was just doing some some modeling stuff. They needed some athletic modeling people to jump and hit these athletic poses while wearing their clothes. So I, I never saw myself as a model or wanted to, to be a model, but I booked quite a few jobs doing that. Hey, they, hey you know what? It's, it's, it's nice being pretty, man. You can, you can, uh, you, you, <laughs> you can, you can be glad and thankful for that. My mother does think that I'm the most handsome man she's ever seen. So. You know how mom's love is. Uh, let me, let me ask you this. If you were given advice to yourself, uh, from you, again, you mentioned it's been about 13 years since you've been out there. Think of yourself as a guy, you know, Hey, I want to go out there and I want to do this. You know, someone that wants to follow in, follow in your footsteps, what advice would you give to them that, okay, if you're going to make this big commitment to move out here and get in the industry and the business, what would you tell them to do? Oh, that's a great question. You, you just, you need to prepare as if it's the biggest fight of your career, the biggest tournament, the biggest battle, how, whatever you need to relate it to, the toughest obstacle in your life, you need to be mentally and physically prepared because this town it just destroys people, it destroys egos. Every year there's so many people moving out here and they last maybe a year before they have to go back home. It's such a tough town and really doesn't matter how talented you are, you're still going to hear no over and over and over and over again. So you really have to have thick skin, <clears throat> but you just have to be determined. Determination is one of the biggest qualities you need to make it in this business as in I think anything and it's something that martial arts as a martial artist <clears throat> whether you want to have a career in Hollywood or whatever kind of career you want martial arts teaches you how to set goals and how to achieve little steps along the way set, setting mini goals and I think that's that's really important so it, I'm just blessed that martial arts is 
what I've always wanted to do my entire life. And also that the qualities that martial arts teaches has helped me to be successful. But it just doesn't have to be the entertainment business whatever you want to achieve martial arts will will help you do so I'm gonna ask you one more question and we're gonna go ahead and move on to our second guest I was looking at one of the videos that I did grab uh, up here and thank you again for sharing this and sharing it to everyone uh, you know that follows you and everything there is a video it looks like it's in the back uh, of a plane is that actually being I'm losing filmed? you guys <clears throat> I mean, oh, you still check one you still got us let me wait for Skype to you still still there Justin yeah, I was. Uh, I was. Yeah, asking, I'm here. I was. Yeah, asking, I was asking about that. Um, there was a video up there. It looks like you guys in the back of the plane. Is that an actual? Sh is that actually shooting in the back of a plane that's in flight? There's a fight scene that uh, I did see from uh, one of your pages. Is that actually in flight in a plane? Yeah, that was for this TV show. It aired last year. It was called The Player with Wesley Snipes. Oh yeah. Show ended up getting canceled, but. Um, I was up 14,000 feet in the back of a C-130 cargo plane <laughs> hanging out the back doing some, some ground and pound and a little bit of jiu-jitsu sweeps. So that was by far the most fun stunt that I've, uh, I've done to date. Man, it just looks, I mean, definitely stop by. You can look at, uh, you can follow Justin on Facebook. Definitely stop by and watch that. It's some amazing stuff. We're going to go ahead and move to our next guest. Justin, thank you for taking time from wonderful, balmy California to visit with us. We certainly appreciate it and wish you the best success. Hopefully, um, you know, if I if I get out there and I cover, cover an event, I'm going to have to let you know so we can hang out and talk about old times. All right, buddy. Sounds good. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks, Justin. Justin, mm -hmm. we'll have a good evening, buddy. You too. Well, there you, got, there you have it, Jamie. I mean... You got it. The, the the this video that's out there right now that I was just showing doesn't do it justice because to actually hear the sound of that plane as it's uh, taking off and you can hear the wind and there are a couple of cameramen right there and about six feet away mm. is just death. You know. I know. I'm I'm glad you asked that question because when I saw the video, I'm like, is that real? Is that legit? And I, I had to, I had to ask. It I, was absolutely. Uh, you know, hey, you know what? I, I have a thing with heights. I'm not exactly sure I could have pulled something like that off. Well, we're going to get our next guest on the line right now. You may know her, uh, Auntie M, Mom, or Emily Cooper, as you know her, who is the founder of a sport martial arts. Jamie, why don't you give us a little bit of information about some of the tournaments that we have up here right now that we'll be covering. I'll go ahead and put the upcoming. You got it, buddy. So 2016 is done. We're ready to move on to 2017. Mm -hmm. uh, the first tournament we got coming up that we always start off the year big with is the AK Warrior Cup in Chicago, January 20th to the 21st. That's going to be another big live stream event for uh, SMA TV, so look forward to that. And then uh, one of my favorite fighting tournaments around there is the Irish Open, March 2nd to 5th. Uh, we'll be out there doing live streaming again. Uh, if, if you haven't heard of it, there's it's one of the biggest fighting tournaments in the world. Uh, divisions are absolutely packed with at least a dozen competitors in each division. Uh, and, and if you don't, if you can't fly overseas, well, we got one much closer to home. Uh, smack on March third and fourth in uh, the Niagara Falls, Buffalo, New York. Uh, we've been there a couple times. Had a great time there. So uh, check it out if you can. Absolutely, all of those tournaments are essentially quality. And of course, going, going on to mention that right now, I'm going to steal a little bit of thunder because I know Emily's going to mention this, but uh, vote now for the 2016 SMA Viewer's Choice Awards right now. You can go to sportmartialarts.com and click on voting. You know how this works. Uh, just go in there right now, the Viewer's Choice Awards. We've got, just to name off a few, let's see. 2016, now this is not the inclusive list. I'm just going to name off a few right here. 2016, best black belt, adult male competitor. We've got Tyler Weaver, Reed Preston, Justin Chang, Mike White, Cole Pressey, Abiel Williams. I mean, the net, it just goes on and on and on. And then we have mm -hmm. adult male competitors for weapons. Reed Preston, Tyler Weaver, Shaxi Rudolph, et cetera, et cetera. 2016 for adult female. we got mm -hmm. Sandy Smith, Mackenzie Emery, Becca Ross, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, everybody's there. Vote for your favorite. Those awards will be given out at the AKA, uh, the excuse me, the AKA uh, awards presentation at the on the weekend of January twentieth through the twenty first. 
if you've gotten the war before, I know a lot of people love that. It's always great to uh, acknowledge, especially from your peers, mm -hmm. uh, the great job you've been doing as a competitor. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to try to get our boss on the phone. And so, Mallory, if I could just remind everybody, yes, this is <laughs> this is not our voting. This is the viewers' choice board. I feel like every year we get harassed a little bit about being biased, but this is actually people going online and voting. So get your vote in. Don't be upset. Get the word out. Absolutely, you. That is one hundred percent the truth. If it's just like uh, would be for American Idol or something, get out there and get people to to vote for you. Yeah. All right, let's see here. Can we get the boss on the line? And she told me she was going to be available. I'm sorry. This mailbox has not yet been set up. Oh, can you believe oh, that? Oh, for real? Stood Come on. by our own boss? What? Are you, I, bet, oh, I, I bet Eric's losing his mind, so she's got to chase him around or something. Let me just always double check because you never never doubt my ability to dial a wrong number, so bear with me really quick. All right, one second. Let's see here. I just hope she's listening. She's probably yelling at me right now. Going to get an angry text. Yeah. Let's see. All right, live live programming. You gotta love it, folks. By the way, this is our twentieth show of the year. We certainly appreciate it. Enjoyed bringing this to you all year long. It has been truly an adventure, and we look forward to doing this next year. And maybe twenty times. We'll see. Let's see here. It's ring number one. Hello. May I speak to Emily Cooper, please? Speaking. What's up, Mallory Woods? Emily, you are on SMA Live again with Jamie, Santa Jamie and myself. How are you doing? I'm great. I, I can only envision Jamie's appearance right now. Oh, and it, uh, <laughs> I'm sure it's a great image for, for SMA Live. I think that's why you have me on SMA Live. It's just for my image, Emily. Thank so you. there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Jamie, oh, there's so much more to you. You're so deep. Yeah. And your image is part of it. I'm deep in the stream. I got you. <laughs> Hey, you, you know what? You're the life coach, Jamie. <laughs> so well, one of these days you'll listen to me and take some good advice. <laughs> oh, every time, Jamie, every time your advice has never done me wrong. Wow. That's a, <laughs> it's a lesson to all our viewers out there. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so how's the show going, guys? Uh, pretty good. We just uh, finished talking to Justin. We have uh, mentioned our upcoming events. And I've just placed a nice little cute picture of you and Eric so that everybody knows you're on the line. Uh, we talked about our award show that, uh, excuse me, the awards, uh, the SMA uh, Live Viewer's Choice Awards. I encourage everybody to go out there and vote for their favorite. And we're, of course, oh, absolutely. We're, we're, and of course, we're littered with technical difficulties throughout it. So if you could, like, put out an ad there out there for a producer for the yes. show, that'd be fantastic. Please. please do. <laughs> I, I don't know if there's anyone that can produce the kind of quality that you guys put out um you know it, it's kind of part of the character of your show is is uh all, all of the the bloopers and things that come from you guys do at sma live i mean it it it, it makes it what it is the personality of the show it, it is the it is the train wreck that keeps on giving we we we, we love this you know uh, you know it's it, absolutely you guys i i keep watching because you're such a train wreck i can't turn away that that's that's an endorsement that uh, only you could give. <laughs> you know it. Well, yeah, let's talk viewers' choice. We're pretty excited about the viewers' choice awards. We've been doing this for uh, let's see, since twenty fourteen, I think mm -hmm. twenty twenty thirteen, a little bit before that, and uh, it, it's been growing in popularity every time. We get thousands of uh, thousands of viewers who are uh, on voting uh, for their favorites. This is like the absolute pageant of sport karate because this is all about the viewers getting a chance to tell us who they like best. This has absolutely nothing to do with uh, us saying who's the best out there. This is the people saying they're what they think. And uh, it's a lot of fun. A lot of people want to participate in it uh, and get their votes in to, to kind of show what they felt was the best for the year. Um, 
And uh, the voting is open now. It's going to close January 5th. We'll announce the awards, the winners, on January 10th. And then uh, awards are going to be presented as they are every year at the uh, first event that we're covering, which is the AKA Warrior Cup coming the weekend of uh, January 20th and 21st. Uh, the AK Warrior Cup was great. Last year they uh, sponsored the awards. We hope we're going to get that sponsorship again this year. And the awards, uh, the actual plaques that we gave out were, were really beautiful. Um, and we were able to give them out on the, the live stream from the AK Warrior Cup last year. So a lot of recognition for those competitors that, that get that best of viewer choice of vote. vote. Um, and uh, a great honor from Sport Karate to be voted the best by the people. And so get those votes in. Um, put your votes out there. Uh, there's been a few people who have contacted us and said, hey, you know, I, I think I should have been on the list. We, we, we come up with the nominees. There's another a, a place where you can vote. For, you can write in a candidate if they're not listed as the nominees. But the nominees basically come from our SMA rankings each year. Um, we had a couple people that contacted us and said, hey, you know, should I not have been part of that? Shouldn't I have been included? Uh, if you if you think you were left out and you should have been or a competitor should have been left out, you got to just send us kind of like a summary of what they did through the year so we can take a look at what the results are. Um, although we're at a lot of events, unfortunately not all the events can give us the results. And so sometimes we may have missed somebody accidentally that probably should be on the list. And if it's a, a candidate that should be, we'll add them. Um, we want everyone to be included and we want this to be uh, a lot of fun for everybody. Uh, as far as the Viewers' Choice Awards, it, it turned out every year to be a really fun activity for people to participate in and to, to celebrate our sport. Yeah, it, 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 I was there last year, and it was a great, it was an absolute great uh, show to, and to see people who have, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're very proud to go up and get their awards. Um, and again, you, you got to go out there and vote. You got to share this content. You got to send it to your relatives, your friends, your classmates, uh, people who are just friending on Facebook or uh, sending out emails or tweets or put it on your Instagram. But get people to vote for you. It is not, again, something that we are not deciding ourselves, but these are choices by the viewer. And a lot of moms and dads and friends love to see their little ones go up there and receive those awards, but you got to get people to vote for you. That's right. Yes. And it, it is something that really is a really fun and coveted award, great for your sport karate resume if you're one of the best of the best. And uh, for the Viewers' Choice Awards, we always, you know, the top five are the ones that we announce for each category. And uh, once again, we'll, we'll be putting those out in uh, a publication that'll, that should come out with the AK Wear Cup or very close thereafter, along with the announcement that the AK Wear Cup and on the website, we'll be announcing that stuff too. So, Trying to get a lot of recognition out there for our sport and for the competitors in our sport. So that that's kind of the big thing that we're doing right now is the viewers' choice. We're also ending the year. We don't really have a lot of tournaments going on right now, not until AK War Cup. So we're like recalibrating a little bit, kind of pulling together material that we've done through the year to, to get some more stuff out there. and Maybe some stuff that we didn't publish before we'll be putting up online so that people can see it and participate. We're also pushing our 2017 events that we're working with. We've got a, a great lineup for 2017. Um, we're going to be right back with the live streaming and we've got, we're up, updating and upgrading equipment. We, we started with live streaming back in uh, 2015 as kind of a beta thing. And uh, just to improve it and see where it could go with single camera, we actually started with just an iPhone. And, uh, and now in uh, 2016, we were up to some of our events had, a, had five different camera angles. And uh, 2017, we plan to come back with some of that, that, that same high quality, but additional new features. Um, we started with some voiceovers last year, at the end of last year, and we'll be bringing those back again. Um, a lot of fun stuff that we've got in store. We really enjoy doing those broadcasts. They're a lot of fun, and they're a great way for us to be creative. Um, and uh, we plan to keep on doing that. We got Santa Jamie. Chime in. Santa Jamie. Yeah, you know, that's, that's a good point. The live stream really came into its own this year. Uh, you know, I saw it behind the scenes kind of progressing from, like you said, one camera to, you know, multiple angles all over the all over the uh, the stage. Um, what, what kind of feedback have you been getting from the promoters regarding the, uh, the live stream? Great question. I think the promoters really like it. I think 
Sometimes I'm not quite sure if they understand all the stuff that we're doing and all the work that goes into it. I mean, for us to set up a live stream, we literally need to be down at the at the event hours ahead of time to run the cables, to set up the cameras, make sure they're all calibrated right, make sure they're at the right angle with the right settings, uh, make sure all the equipment is working. Um, it, it takes a lot of time to set up a live stream. So what the correct way to make it really a professional looking live stream and one of our main goals for the sport uh, that we're hoping to really improve on even more in 2017 is to make our sport look professional on camera, to look like uh, the type of broadcast you'd see from a, uh, uh, you know, an ESPN, a, an NBC, a, a, a professional sports broadcast that people are going to tune into whether or not they're involved in the sport and are going to be able to watch it and understand it and appreciate it so that our sport can grow and really get spread out to more people, become more popular. I mean, if, if arm wrestling and um, ping pong can, can become popular sports, even with people who don't play those sports, sport karate should be able to make it to that level too. I absolutely agree with you. You know, since we've been talking about last year, what is, uh, Jamie, what is your most memorable moment from uh, some of the events, if not necessarily the event itself, but something that happened at one of them that uh, you remember from 2016? <laughs> I always think my one of my favorite tournaments to go to is usually the AKA, and and this year I was so excited I won a ring that I wore it almost every day for a month. So uh, I was a big fan of the AKAs, and then as as always, the U.S. Open. Um, you know, some things I can't really say on camera, but uh, <laughs> good times were had. <laughs> That's right. We got a Thunder Buddy rings, and uh, I also won myself a ring, and you beat me for the overall. And uh, oh, AKA, that's right. There you go. That was, that was a fun tournament. Em, I, 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 I can only imagine any tournament that you survive has got to be your favorite. Do you have any standout memories from 2016 from any of the events we covered? Oh, there's so many memories from 2016. Although, honestly, there's so many moments that I think I must have blacked out during 2016. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand that. Um, but, uh, I mean... It was really a fun year. We did a lot of different things. We went to a lot of places. It was pretty, by the end of the year, I was pretty exhausted, but um, we had a lot of fun. We really brought in uh, our new um, video guy, Ryan Johnson, and yeah. people may remember seeing him at the tournaments, but he really came on board in 2016. Uh, he's a professional filmographer, and he's the one that kind of got us to this next level with a lot of these camera angles and, and cameras and setting it up right and doing it in the professional way. And um, so that was a big plus. That, in a general sense, was really memorable for 2016 because that kind of sparked a lot of our excitement about about doing the live streams and making them better and improving them. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, AK World Cup is always fun. We always have a great time. I think the most memorable part of that was that I lost my kid at oh, that event. That's um, right. And then Jamie <laughs> found it for me. Yeah, Jamie um, was the hero. That's right. Yeah, Jamie found him. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so see, Jamie, you do have a lot of talent. I, I provide a little um, bit of value to the team. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. She found my child, and that was a very yeah. valuable thing. Um, <laughs> so that was really fun. Uh, I mean, I think every tournament had something going on that was just kind of crazy. I mean, being in L.A. for competes uh, and hanging out, uh, doing uh, – um, uh, the. We just got back from WKC in Ireland. That was insane, and that was a lot of fun. Um, Irish Open every year is always crazy, um, and we can't talk about it, <laughs> how crazy it is. Uh, Capitals is always nuts. The, the after party from there is a lot of fun. I think Nick put it best, and we like to look at uh, what our best parts of the tournament are, either location, after party, people we're going to hang out with, um, the tournaments themselves, we've seen a lot of great competition, a lot of competitors who have kind of come into their own in 2016. I think when I think off the top of my head, um, you know, uh, Jackson Rudolph became an adult and was winning as an adult. Um, Reed Presley started like busting through doing a lot of great things. Alan Davies, he was awesome. We saw a lot of, um, in the girls division, some great female competitors up and coming. Trinity Davis is a junior. Um, Emma Teo was up on stage quite a bit with Kieran Tamendong, really with those with the uh, uh, synchronized teams. Uh, Mia Lang, 
showed up out of nowhere, just got her black belt, and she's up on stage. We had uh, Anthony Demores from Canada with his teammate, and I can't remember her name off the top of my head, but they were doing awesome. He was from uh, Team Vision from Canada previously that really wowed us in uh, demo team and then showed up and started like really competing uh, in the NASCAR circuit and, and was great. For fighters, I thought uh, Matthew Williams went from kind of being a, a good fighter to being a really great fighter out there. Mm -hmm. um, and a, a lot of other young fighters that were up and coming, um, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head because I'm driving my car while I'm talking to you guys. Uh, uh, but, I mean, uh, James Poor, he, was, he did great this year. He really ended the year on, on a strong point, turning, turning 21 and winning a lot and, and, and getting out there. Um, little Bailey Murphy continues to be one of the top junior fighters. Uh, Elizabeth Rouillard was a great fighter. She put out some great performances this year. Um, you know, there were just some really good things out there that we saw on, on the competition floor. And I know I'm not naming them all, mm -hmm. but there are some great, some great events. I mean, w, WKF winning um, in team fights. I, I believe they won at AKA, that a, right? That, that, no, that was in Atlanta. Uh, 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 the surprise was that in Atlanta? Upset. Atlanta, and, but at AKA, who won at AKA in team? Uh, who won at AKs and team? Man, you're asking me. That was all the way in January. There you um, go. There's, 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 yeah, you filmed it, so you should know. Yeah, I'm, trying, um, I'm getting old. I'm getting, my memory's not live streamed it. That I, was. I remember the excitement at the end of that was a great, was great. Um, Battle of Atlanta ended well with teams. Um, Americic ended well with individuals. I mean, there were just a lot of really good performances out there. Um, for women, I think Morgan Plowd just basically winning everything that she did, um, and just you know some good stuff. I liked that Avery Plowd coming back from a shoulder injury and, and doing a really good job. Um, a lot of performances in 2016 that were that were really exciting. Um, we're hoping that we'll be able to go back to a lot of the footage from 2016 and maybe put up some highlight footage of some great shots and some great. Uh, performances and tricks but it was a lot of fun and we're really looking forward to 2016 we've got a lot of plans coming up I think I, I'm sorry 2017 uh, we're hoping to release some new um, content it'll be a little different maybe some biographies of competitors so you can really get to know them from behind the scenes and not just see their performances but actually figure out what drives them and what kind of people they are uh, we've been talking with uh, Danny Etkin and Aiden Considine about uh, maybe doing a little show with them, and that mm. might be kind of exciting if we can get that up and off the ground and running. I think it's going to be pretty hilarious because those two are out of control. Um, and uh, um, and continuing on with trying to, to make sure that we have the best quality footage and best quality performances and, and best quality um, way of showing this sport to the world so that the sport can get the recognition it deserves. That is absolutely true. By the way, quick breaking news. We want to send a special shout out to Hunter Lyon. And Hunter just reminded me that the NASCAR registration for, for the NASCAR banquet registration opens either tomorrow or Monday. Everyone has to register by January 8th to receive your award. So if you get a NASCAR award, please make sure you go to AKA, I think it's AKA Grands to register aka Grand aka warrior cup aka, AKA warrior, warrior cup. cup thank you aka warrior cup to register so you can receive your award the deadline is january 8th gotta love it because hunter is always watching us on live stream he does a great event at uh the aka's and i can't wait to see him next month hey i gotta say it's it's been a great year for me a lot of the things that have been great was of course uh the us open when jamie and i did the pre-live show that was really fun to do uh it was it was uh, kind of think on your feet type of thing, uh, just going on. So many competitors, if you mentioned, uh, I gotta I, I gotta take a special shout out to remembering Christopher Robbins. Anytime, uh, Robbins, anytime he's <laughs> near the ring, you hear him, and we, and we have got to get some sound drops of him. Just bow to your sensei, and just <laughs> everything that can be inserted anywhere, anytime. There's so many big and bold personalities, and like you said, it's great to bring that to everyone uh, from what we do. Em, I'm going to go ahead and tell it. It's about time for us to go. Santa Jamie, as I show his most wonderful picture from the Minnesota game, 
You know he made it on the Jumbotron with that outfit. Come on. <laughs> We're sure. Hey, yes, that. he did. Uh, we can, we, thank you, Jamie, for your incredibly professional representation of <laughs> everything that we do out there. Amazing. Hey, before I go, though, I want to say this. AKWarriorCup.com, their registration is open. NASCAR Banquet is going to be open. Make sure you register for that so you can get your awards because we're going to be there and we want to see everybody there. We want to get your pictures and we want to showcase you guys on the site. Uh, make sure that you guys are getting ready to register. I just got wind that AmeriKick International's registration is just opening now. U.S. Open registration is already open. Um, and... Events are getting ready to go. Make sure that you are checking your calendar so that you are scheduled to get to some of these awesome events. Look at sportmartialarts.com, our Facebook page, and our website to see where we're going to be next because where we're going to be is where you should be because that's what's going to get you out there with your photos and your videos and everything else. We are going to highlight you and competitors, and we are going to try and do even more in 2017 than we've ever done to make sure that you guys, the sport karate competitors, are going to get in the limelight and are going to be seen by the world and be appreciated for all the hard work that you do. And we thank the competitors and the parents and everyone for all the hard work that they do every year to keep making the sport better and to keep bringing us the competition, the performances, everything like that that makes sportmartialarts.com strong and makes us able to bring that out to the world. Um, so we want to thank everybody for that, especially at this holiday season. That's what we're thankful for and we're grateful for. And I want to thank all of the staff from sportmartialarts.com. You guys to take it upon yourself to do SMA Live every, every week or almost every week. <laughs> Whenever you guys are doing it, you guys do a great job for all the work that our reporters do out there uh, doing all the reporting at the events. They work hard for pretty much little to no pay, maybe just a free hotel room or, or a free trip to the event. But they work hard. Um, we got Dalton out there. Hi, Dalton. You're probably listening somewhere. He is. Um, <laughs> GD Dalton, we like to call you. Um, Jamie for all his hard work. Mallory for all your hard work. Ryan, Nick. Um, who else we got out there who's been working? We've got uh, Ron and his crew have been stepping up. Mallory, can you get the orchestra? I was asking Mallory if you could get the orchestra to start playing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can we get the orchestra? <laughs> The we, we've had, we really appreciate all the hard work that everybody does, and uh, we're really looking forward to uh, bringing things to you even stronger for next year. We've got a lot of things uh, happening and a lot of things um, that I think are going to make people really excited for 2017. So we hope everybody's ex as excited about the new competition year as we are, and uh, hope everyone has a great holiday season uh, and uh, gets everything they want from Santa or... If you don't celebrate Christmas, have a great holiday season anyway. Well, Santa Jamie's right here, and I know he invites you to sit in his lap, and he's going to grant probably wishes. There you go. <laughs> Jamie, there, there, I will never sit on your lap. <laughs> <laughs> I, I beg to differ. We'll see what happens here. If you, if you want to get what you want. <laughs> Well, Em, we thank you for taking a uh, quick uh, couple minutes. Uh, 2017 is right around the corner, so I'll be seeing you guys quite soon you have a merry christmas a happy new year uh we hope eric gets all of the toys that he's going to no doubt drag to every tournament with him uh on the sunday for christmas yes and and mallory yeah. great job for 20 episodes you've been putting this yes. together it's a lot of work uh i know emily appreciates it uh i appreciate it i just sit back and show up and i uh, kind of talk out of my butt a little bit so <laughs> that's all i contribute Jamie, you are you're good at that yeah, that's all I Hey, got. what's the name of our site? Mallory, what's the name of our site? SportMartialArts.com. There you go. Oh, yes. You can get off probation for the holidays. Oh, can you dig it? <laughs> Look at that. I'm off probation. Oh, I'm going to find a way to get back on. 2017 is a new year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll, be on, you'll be on by January 3rd. No yeah. doubt. Back I have a reputation at poll. Well, you, you, you take it easy. Drive safely. I will see you guys uh, very soon. And we're going to go ahead and let you go, and we're going to go ahead and wrap up real quick. All right. Good night, guys. All right. Good night, Mom. Ah, oh, Mom's off the phone now. We can, we can, we can misbehave. This is awesome. Yeah, all right. I think my video froze up, but hey, my audio still works. Ah, uh, there you go. Well, we're going to go ahead and invite, uh, remind everybody, stop by our, one of our good friends, Alex Ray's Point Fighter Radio. 
Uh, look for him up on Facebook. He always does a great job. And of course, the, Spar the Martial Arts Inner Network, which is done by Travis Plowden. Please give those guys a look. From all of us here at Sport Martial Arts, we want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We will see you all very, very soon. Don't forget to vote for your favorite competitors and our Viewers' Choice Awards from myself and, of course, Santa Jamie, who we have to put the picture up again. Thank you all. Have a great, wonderful holiday season. We will see you all very soon. Good night. Feliz Navidad.